What's the term? Certainly very strong language here uh, out of that commentary on Xinhua News Agency on the weekend. Now, you know, obviously there are two facets to this. Obviously first is, you know, China's exposure to U.S. debt. The second is, of course, they're taking this, I guess, opportunity to, to, to further their interests here. Uh, and, you know, the message here is that they think the U.S. is being reckless because they're allowing their domestic issues to impact the rest of the world, obviously putting in jeopardy a lot of these dollar investments of a lot of other countries, not only China. Obviously, in their case, they have the most at stake here. Three and a half trillion invested in dollar denominated assets. So at least as far as that's concerned, they say the world needs a new reserve currency. Um, and they're saying that now, obviously, you're seeing a lot of, of debate at this point, that it's a good time for the world to sort of rethink and reconsider uh, what the future should look like and, and as you mentioned how it can build a de-americanized world now obviously currency is one part it's not the only part uh, another part is you know we all know china wants to have at least more say in the, uh, global affairs so for example they're saying the u.s has to respect more the sovereignty of other countries you know, not to meddle into the domestic issues of other countries <laughs> plus of course in their case they also want a bigger say in you know bodies like the imf mm -hmm. the world, world bank, bank world bank for example yeah, so maybe uh, being opportunistic, uh, let's promote the use of the renminbi, but how can you do that when this currency isn't even fully convertible yet? It's not like I can just trade the renminbi into any currency I want. Right, I mean, certainly they do have to, a lot of domestic issues that they have to you know, put their house in order before. Yeah, course. just a few domestic issues. Well, know. one of them is to make it fully convertible, certainly a very big one. You know, liberalizing interest rates also comes hand in hand with making your currency fully convertible. I mean, they're doing a lot right now. They're obviously right now in the middle of, say, Increasing the number of uses as far as trade is concerned. Swap trade agreements, swap deals with the use of the yuan. That was just announced last week with the yeah. ECB, which yeah. is a big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal. Obviously, increases the the supply of renminbi out there. The next step is, you know, we talked about this about two years, two three years ago, where you would want to say increase the options for investment in in you know yuan denominated assets, and obviously after that, then you move on to becoming a reserve currency. Right, right. Well, that's still a few years away, I'm sure. Oh. Okay, David, <laughs> thank you yeah. for that. Yeah, nodding, saying of course.